Hello everyone, for this installment, I have decided to cover a dinosaur that I believe deserves more attention, and is the first dinosaur of its kind to be featured in one of my videos. Meet Dakota Raptor. Dakota Raptor was a genus of large dromaeosaurid dinosaur that lived in western North America during the late Cretaceous period. It belonged to the family Dromaeosauridae, and it was part of the subfamily Dromaeosaurinae, which contains four other genera including Boreonychus, Dromaeosaurus, and these unnamed genera. In 2005, a partial skeleton with no skull was unearthed in the Hell Creek Formation in Harding County, South Dakota. A decade later, the type species Dakota Raptor Steini was named and described. Its generic name translates as the thief from Dakota. Dakota, referring to the location of its discovery, and Raptor, which is Latin for thief or plunderer. Dakota Raptor was an exceptionally large dromaeosaurid with an adult length of 5.5 meters and it was tall enough to look an adult man in the eye. However, unlike the larger, bulkier Utah Raptor, Dakota Raptor had the proportions and adaptations resembling that of the smaller, slimmer Raptors. Apart from its large size, Dakota Raptor had some other distinguishing traits, most notably its arms, which bear these very prominent bumps along a ridge on the lower edge of the ulna, measuring 8 to 10 millimeters in diameter. These bumps are in fact ulnar papillae, or quill knobs. For birds and most theropods, quill knobs were spots for reinforced attachment of the wing feathers. This suggests that Dakota Raptor had long feathers on its arms. In fact, its arms have been termed as wings. Now, they don't mean wings as in function, they mean wings in appearance. This dinosaur was not capable of flying. It also had the Dromaeosaur's iconic sickle-shaped killing claw on the second toe of both feet. Measuring 16 centimeters in diameter and 24 centimeters in length, these were one of the largest claws of any Dromaeosaur. These were lethal weapons used for slicing up and holding down prey. Dakota Raptor lived in western North America at the end of the Cretaceous period around 66 million years ago, making it one of the last surviving dromaeosaurids as well as one of the last non-avian dinosaurs before the KPG extinction. Not only did it live in what is now present day South Dakota, teeth and other bone fragments belonging to Dakota Raptor have been found in North Dakota, Wyoming, and Montana, suggesting it had a much larger range than previously thought. During the late Cretaceous, this region of North America was located on the eastern continental margin of the western interior sea, the shallow inland sea that once split the continent in two. The climate at the time was warm and temperate with seasonal variations. The area was low-lying and was characterized by a combination of floodplains, swamps, wetlands, and forest habitats which attracted various herbivores and predators alike including Dakota Raptor. Dakota Raptor is the only medium-sized predator to be found in the Hell Creek Formation. It lived alongside other Hell Creek dinosaurs, including the duck-billed Edmontosaurus, the literal bone-headed Pachycephalosaurus, the ostrich-like Ornithomimids, the armored Ankylosaurus, and the most famous of them all, Hell Creek's apex predator, Tyrannosaurus rex. While Dakota Raptor was a fearsome predator in its own right, it was not large enough to compete with the Tyrant Lizard King, but it was still capable of taking down prey that most other predators could not. Dakota Raptors probably hunted in packs as in living in a social group allowed these mid-sized predators to take down prey much larger than themselves, and a hunting pack of Dakota Raptors was a force to be reckoned with using their speed and agility to run down and tire out prey, then using their incredible jumping skills to launch themselves onto the prey's back and holding on tight with their hand claws. Then they use their famous killing claws to slice up prey, severing major arteries causing death through blood loss. 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, an asteroid bigger than Mount Everest slams into the Earth, triggering the planet's fifth mass extinction, which saw the obliteration of over 75% of both marine and terrestrial life, including the non-avian dinosaurs. Dakota Raptor was one of them. Earth would never again see a predator quite like it. 
Thanks for watching, and remember, like and subscribe for new content every week. See you next week.